Hello, my name is Max Drake. I'd like to talk about this um, time ship app that I've been be building in Glide. Um, uh, it's, and the thing which I like about Glide, I'm just going to get distracted here, is that basically it's a bespoke app. This is how I want an app to work for me, and this is how it's working. I've got uh, the front here, which is a bit of a dashboard, just telling me how many total hours I've got on particular projects. I've got a calendar here, which is basically an iframe, just pulling in my pet cat. Uh, Thing there I've talked in the previous video about how I can actually add uh, a new item and put it onto a project so that I've got all of my time into my timesheets as I actually need it um, I've got an expenses um, form here that I can actually add in the interface at the very front of the thing an interface of just telling me how my expenses are going on a certain project so at this point in time, I want to talk about calendar. Now, in the calendar area, what we can actually do is that we can add uh, a calendar event. Now, when you're actually sending something to the calendar, it's a little bit pedantic how it actually wants information. It wants the date and it wants the time. So it wants date, time in the start and the end columns. But that's not how you actually input information. And then you actually have the event and it's got a little bit of a description and location and the location is quite an interesting one as well so what I've got is I've got a little bit of a roughing area where I chuck stuff in so if I actually go and add something to the calendar here I've got a date so I'll actually say okay then uh, it's going to be on the um, 12th and uh, the start time is going to be um, 2 30 Oh no, I've got to go down. No, 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 no. I think I've got to go to, um, it likes that code and the thing on dates, 2.30 p.m. So, and the duration, again, you wouldn't normally do an end time. So you wouldn't say, oh, well, actually, it's an hour and a half. I would actually just bang in 1.5 or 1.5. So there's going to be an hour and a half, and which project it's going through is going to go on to that one. And what's the event? It's going to be a meeting uh, with client on site. Um, so and there so we can actually say the site is 23 uh, uh, we'll say Ridiford Street Newtown Wellington um, be interesting to see whether it comes for and the description the reason um, to review uh, shape of living room and ceiling height and we can go add so we've got that and that's been added there so if you see all of these events are coming through now the duration has come through here it's now going to do a calculation of what that means in actual hours and then it comes through and formats it nicely so there's a bit of automation going on behind there I've just written some scripts and uh, the, the top script here is actually saying um, here's the my calendar app code here's the idea of which calendar I want it to go to push this data onto it so it's just saying grab that data bash it in there so the data is based on these pink lines through here so it's taking this information and pushing it there um, I'm doing first of all I'm actually one of the things that I'm doing straight away is that when those dates come in they don't come in correctly just I because I just put the 5 and the 12 so it has to reformat it so I've got to do that reformatting first before I can put it through here if I don't do the formatting first it ends up being a bit messy anyway we push those through have they come through so here's my item and look there they are so um, that's actually going to site off so that's no good so we'll do three more we go site visit and uh, we've got an address on here the nice thing in the app itself I can click on that and it takes me to a map hopefully it's in the same country cool it's come to Wellington so uh, it's actually come into um, the, the right city so that's brilliant so I've got those things and within that app now so far so I have an app that I can do uh, an overall looking at, at where I am so it's got a dashboard and I can put different things on here the total times that I've spent on projects the total expenses I've spent on projects I can add my expenses in here I can add things to my calendars in here and I can see things on my calendar here 
you know, the two things that I actually haven't got at this point in time is I think some of these have repeated themselves. If I go into the calendar, um, uh, it's iterating through all of those. One of the things that I can actually do inside here is after it does that iteration of going in and creating those events, I can actually delete the rows from here. So I can say, right, I push that in, delete it. I don't need it anymore so that I'm not likely to actually double or triple push because there you can see the same uh, items come through twice. So I've got to manually delete them here. Um, whereas if I just do that, so that's one thing that I can do. Another thing that I'd like to do with the app as well is to put notifications so that it emails you and says you've got an appointment tomorrow or you've got an appointment in an hour, so and so and so and so, just as a reminder of that. So those are two little enhancements that I think I can do. But basically, that meets my needs. One of the further things that, that they're uh, looking at in the test environment uh, for Glide apps is in the test environments, they've got um, email filters. So there's the idea, I'm trying to experiment with that at the moment, whereas I can actually have, depending on whether you, you on this one here, if we just go into the settings, um, and I'm going to have to just leap out to that to see the settings through there. On the settings, um, you've got to sign in and an email whitelist. Now, the idea is hopefully later on, um, if you come in on a whitelist and you're on that list, it can actually say which pages you can view. So potentially, you could actually have um, a timesheet for Bob, a timesheet for Jim, a timesheet for Sal, a calendar for Sal, a calendar for Bob, a calendar for Jim, and uh, expenses as well. So all of the different people are capturing the information on the same sheet. Then you can actually just have a total sheet that takes their data and pulls it in so that you could also have potentially a um, front-end sheet that um, does the overall project so from the team's point of view it's added up all of these now the thing is as well is that i'm sort of doing this for myself but you could do this on a team basis so even within a company if you've got a large-scale company doing something but you're working in a small group there's no reason why you can't build a bespoke app like this that meets your team's needs to actually meet the deadlines and meet the um, uh, uh, restraints around the projects that you actually have. And so I think that's a, the, the, the bigger picture of the Glide tool is that it is very, very versatile and it's not too complex to put it build. I, I will actually step back on that. These ones here, I'm putting in a bit of coding just so that I can do that organization as well. And also within the app scripts, I've got a whole load of triggers that I've actually got to um, uh, create those events and they've got to be done in a specific order just so that the formatting actually works well. Um, so it's not as easy as it is. Uh, it, it, it's, it's not... Um, totally uncoded you don't you don't need to know code but in fact there's a lot of people and I, I, I'd like to say that in the uh, Glide community on the um, spectrum um, there's a lot of people there who, who, who give uh, some of the in the app showcase that show their information and show what they've done and allow others to share that information as well which I think is very generous of them and it's great to actually improve the tool so that it can be used by a lot of other people. Anyway I've hope that's been of interest to, for you a little bit of a over generalization on some of the things but um, as far as the app goes I think it's absolutely great if you like the video can you please give a thumbs up thank you very much indeed